My very first Arabica assembly was just two weeks after 9-11. A teacher I knew had a young Arab fourth grader in her elementary school who was being harassed by her classmates. Obviously, those children were reflecting the fear and anger of the adults in their lives. So that teacher asked me to come and give a presentation to the school children, introducing my culture, in order to make them more familiar with and less afraid of the Arab and Muslim world. And since that day in 2001, I have performed over 400 Arabica school assemblies. Arabica brings Arab music, dance, and culture to schools across the United States. Thank you, everyone. And now if I want to say thank you in Arabic, I say shukran. Good. It is a performance geared towards kids, teens, teachers, and families. My name is Karim Nagy. I am an Egyptian, a Muslim, an immigrant, an American, and a performing artist. I have over three decades of experience in Arabic music and dance. Who likes the wreck made of wood and fish? <laughs> Who prefers the wreck made of metal and plastic? Look at that, look at that. My performance benefits from the power of music. I demonstrate several percussion and string instruments found in all the Arab countries. I also show some regional styles of folkloric dance. I include costumes, a geography lesson, and demonstrate the writing and pronunciation of Arabic words. The whole program is participatory. It engages every age group in the audience. In the news, movies, or political debates, Arabs and Muslims get equated with terrorism, refugee crises, war, extremism, oppression, and poverty. My goal is not to have a political discussion, but rather to humanize my people. Music and dance, they are done by humans. When young people enjoy these arts with me, I become more familiar, more understandable, more like them, humanized. This familiarity fights fear and prejudice and promotes curiosity and friendship. Go, have fun guys, have fun! I have performed Arabica in schools and communities all over the United States. Having performed for countless individuals, I have learned that I am not just advocating for my own people. This is all a lesson in Tolerance. Forward, back, forward, back, stop, and here we go. Forward, back, forward, back and stop. Don't forget to stop. Forward, back, forward, get up, get up. Now, every time you stop, I want you to say the word. We are teaching young people how to appreciate someone who is different from them. And this ability to appreciate will benefit everyone in this country, familiar or different, foreign or native. If we can make music and dance together, then we can also be friends.